Morning guys. I just wanted to start a kind of morning meditation group or session for everybody. Um, I do meditation every morning and find it really helps me, especially when my routine's kind of gone out the window and things are a little bit uncertain for everybody. I find meditation is a nice safe space that I can come to to help me relax and stay calm and just find a little bit of safety for the day. So, I thought, why don't I bring meditation to you at home? And this means that it's not just you that can do meditation. You can teach your mums and dads and your brothers and sisters or whoever's in your house at the minute. Um, it's a nice thing you can do together and I know in the class anyway that you guys are all fantastic at this um, and I know you'll do a great job of teaching your mums and dads if you want to. You don't have to do this meditation, it's just for those of us that find it helpful and beneficial to us. So, my plan is to do this every week. Um, I'm going to today to take a little bit of time to talk to you about how to do meditation at home because it is different when you do it at home from when we do it in class. So, um, to start off with, um, you will want to think about how you're going to sit. So, don't feel you have to sit down. You can lie down on your back, fully flat, hands by your side, um, or kind of hands in a basket on your stomach, if you want. Um, you could choose a meditation cushion of some sort. This is my meditation cushion from Sammy Lang. Um, however, you can just use like a regular pillow for your bed. Uh, another thing I like to use, I kind of switch it around every day. So you don't need to do the same thing every day. I've also got a little bench that I can use. Um, so yeah, I just take myself somewhere quiet. So if you can take yourself to a room where you can sit down either on your own or with your family, that would be fantastic. I'm just going to get my music on because I've just realised it's stopped. Uh, if you can find yourself somewhere quiet to sit with your family, um, you can either sit on a chair. If you're sat in a chair, sit with your back straight, roll your shoulders back. Sit tall with your head like a tree, like it's pulling you upwards. Hands in a basket on your lap or flat on your knees. It's really important that you keep your legs um, uncrossed and your feet flat on the floor. If you're sitting on a cushion or a stool, you'll see me sitting here on my little stool. I'm literally just going to sit with my legs crossed and my hands in a basket throughout this, okay? So, what we'll do today is we'll do a simple relaxation um, and as the sessions progress, we'll start doing other things as well, okay? So, let's start. So, first of all, I want you to get into your position. So, just sitting nice and straight or lying nice and flat. It's okay to giggle during this, especially if it's your first time. Um, I possibly want to giggle a little bit because I feel a little bit crazy doing this on a video. But let's go for this, guys. We can do it. So get yourself feeling nice and comfortable. Oh, I'm just checking the time so we don't go too long for you guys. Okay, so you're going to sit nice and straight or lying nice and flat. Hands in a basket or by your side. As you breathe in, thoughts will come in and out of your head. Allow these thoughts to pass through. And as you breathe out, blow any of these unwanted thoughts away. Returning your thoughts 
thoughts to your breathing. Deep breath in. And out. As you meditate, your body positioning will change. So just make sure just now that you're sitting up nice and straight, allowing those airways to open. As you begin to breathe, you feel your legs and your feet feeling extremely heavy. on this pool and how heavy your legs are feeling. That feeling is spreading up the front of your legs, over your knees and up your thighs. Feel the pressure pushing down in your legs, helping you sink further and further down. sensations spread over your neck, up through your chin and face, relaxing your face completely, letting go of any tension, and finally that feeling spreading over the top of your head, until your whole body is now relaxed.
light to spread around your body until you're standing in your own golden bubble of light. When you're in this bubble, nothing can harm you. You can feel only love and you're safe. Enjoy this moment. when you're in your bubble, knowing that nothing can harm you, knowing you're surrounded only by good things, by happy things. As you breathe now, that bubble of light begins to fade. Again, just slowly feel a bit lighter. Toes begin to wiggle as they begin to wake back up. Allow this tingling sensation to spread up your legs. Allowing them to float and feel light. As you do this and they begin to wake up, you'll feel that tingling feeling go across up your stomach, all the way to your chest. Down your arms to your fingertips. Feeling your fingertips give a little wiggle as they begin to wake up. Now that feeling spreading up your neck. Enjoy this feeling for a moment as you return your thoughts slowly to your breathing.
need to focus on your breathing. And when you hear my chimes, you can slowly allow your eyes to wake up. your meditation for the day complete. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly feel a little bit more relaxed after it. That's my meditation number two today. Um, so thank you for allowing me to do that with you. Um, please share with whoever you've done this with how you've gotten on. Uh, maybe you've felt things over your body. Often we speak in class about sometimes we see disco lights going on in our heads. Sometimes our bubbles are different colours, sometimes they're cool shapes. Uh, so please feel free to share in the comments and uh, let us all know how you got on. Uh, likewise, if you think anybody will benefit from this, like feel free to share it with them, I don't mind. Now, before we go today, I am going to set you all a challenge for the week, seeing as it's Monday. Okay, and I've discussed it with Mrs Wilson and Mr Williams and they think it's a good idea. So... In my room, in my little zen den, um, as I call it, I'm just going to change my phone around. I have made myself, um, I've got my whole room, which has got my spare bed and stuff like that in it, and my desk and a little chest of drawers. But in my room, I have made a little zen den. So in my zen den, I have got some little flags that have some meditation chants. I've got a nice little fairy book that I love and I've got some cool things that help me relax or things that people have given me to say thank you for helping with meditation. And I thought, well, if I've got a Zen Den in my house, the Jen Zen Den, I do call it, but I'm not allowed to say that because my name's Miss Kiernan. Um, I've got my own little Zen Den and I thought, as a little family task, let's see who can make a Zen Den. So my task to you this week, guys, if you choose so to accept it, is to make Zen Dens in your own home. Filled with things that make you feel happy, that help relax you, things like that. So look forward to seeing what you guys are going to come up with. Hope you've enjoyed that and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.